What's up guys, welcome to this Pro Update, my name is Johnny, I host of this channel. Welcome to my review of Nobly vs. Borussia Dortmund. If you guys are looking for highlights, if you don't know my channel by now, this is just where I make reviews of the games for Nobly games, because that's my team. My family background is Italian, we're actually from Naples, so, um, yeah, this is my team and I make reviews. So, if you want highlights, there will be no highlights, there will be no footage. Please go look for another video, don't leave anything negative. But if you're a Nobly fan, even if you're a Dortmund fan, and you just want to comment about the game, all of those are appreciated and welcome. So let's get right into this game. Um, you know I had to make a review. I mean, just I make every review for every game the Teddy on Champions League is so important. And we were kind of the underdogs today. And I just feel like, you know, we showed the world that we can play. And, uh, you know, our defense needs a little bit of work still. Of course, we all know that. But, I mean, we, we played against the German Giants. I mean, besides Bayern, Dortmund is the best team as well. I mean, you know, those are the two best teams. And they're in the first place in the Bundesliga right now, and we defeated them 2-1. Strange thing, I actually predicted we'd win 2-1. Um, I just had this weird feeling that something weird would happen, and, you know, Dortmund's goal was actually an own goal by Zuniga, but we'll get to that. But, I mean, first half, I was so impressed by the way we came out. Besides that first error, like, literally a few minutes in the, into the game, Britos made an error, and it almost cost us. And I was like, oh, oh God, here we go again. Uh, you know, we're going to make some defensive errors. And we're going to end up letting them score. But we did it. I mean, we played very well this first half. We were just, you know, very dominant. I mean, in possession-wise, overall, it was 59 to 42. I'm reading that right now. Or around 58 to 42% on ESPN stats. I mean, we just controlled the ball. In letter was great. Long passes, short passes. Amzik is always great. Uh, Madja, I was so impressed with him. I mean, he was getting a little skill as well. You know, getting blown past the defenders and you know, the Dortmund midfield. So I was just really, really impressed with him as well. And uh, who else was that? Iguain. I mean, he makes so many runs uh, to the net. I mean, just cutting corners, getting to the near post. I mean, he's just such a great player. I'm really glad we picked him up. And, you know, he came through in the first half, 28th minute. Uh, I believe it was Zuniga who crossed the ball in, if I'm not mistaken. And Iguain with a beautiful header into the bottom uh, left, I believe, bottom corner of the net, if it was, if I wasn't mistaken. But, I mean, the beautiful goal, the crowd went, just exploded. They went nuts. And, you know, I, I myself was yelling like crazy. So, you know, that was a great moment. Dortmund is such a hard team to play. They're just so, so tough. I mean, they're great players. Royce, Lewandowski, Aubameyang came on later on in this game, and I'll get to in a second. Um, but Weidenfeld actually picked up a red card in the, you know, right before the half ended. Um, he came out of the box because Iguain was on a scramble. He was alone almost. You know, he got past the defender. All he needed to do was chip, and Weidenfeller actually blocked it with his hand outside the box. He got a red card, automatically sent off. And, uh, I mean, it was it was a right call. You know, he blocked Iguain from a clear chance, um, and nothing came from that. Luckily for them, it was outside the penalty area, and we weren't able to score. So going into the half, we were up 1-0. I was happy with that. Coming out of the half, um, again, we, we were playing good as, just as good as the first half. Um, again, Inlay with the long passes is great. He sets up uh, Zuniga on the side. Callejon as well. He didn't score, but he still played well. And uh, Majo, again, coming from the right-back position that he was playing, played very well. Um, Dortmund, Aubameyang hit the post. I was kind of scared when that happened. Um, a curling shot. Pe Pepe Reina actually got a little save on that. Um, you know, Lewandowski was trying to get get into the into the box, but there wasn't really a lot of service for him. Royce also had some free-kick opportunities. And uh, Reyna, whenever he had to come out and make a stop and get the ball, you know, jump up, catch that ball secure, he did. I was very proud of him as well. Impressed. And our second goal was scored by Lorenzo in Sydney, 66th minute. I mean, this guy's magic. They call him, uh, you know, the magician in Italian. I mean, he's just so good. That free kick was so, you know, it was pretty far distance and hit the post, uh, hit the hit the bar, hit went down into the box and, uh, you know, passed Dortmund's new goal, goalkeeper because... Weinfeller got the red, but just a great goal. And we were up 2-0. I was like, oh, man, I mean, we can do this. Our, our defense is playing pretty solid. And then what happens, 86th minute, 85th minute, whatever it was, Zuniga uh, with an own goal. He wasn't. He didn't do it on purpose. I mean, he was just trying to flick it over, you know, try to get it out of bounds or try to clear it. Instead, it went in. Uh, it, it barely passed the line, but it was a goal. So Dortmund, you know, was getting back, right back into the game. And they were attacking the last 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. They were just pouring it on forward. And, you know, Napoli always scares me when we're winning. When we're winning, it seems that that's when we play sloppy. Like, we're winning and we think that we got it secure. And then some stupid mistake happens. Britos, again, with a little short pass to Reyna, almost cost us a goal. Um, but we held on and it ended 2-1. Three points for us. We beat Dortmund. That's all I wanted. 
Um, and I'm, I'm very proud. I mean, I, I know I sound really biased, but you guys, I love Dortmund as well. I mean, they're a good team. Uh, they're my favorite German side, but, you know, they're just so tough in Napoli. I'm just so, gra so glad that we won. Um, you know, my family is ecstatic. But, I mean, just uh, it was a great game. Great game. Fantastic game for both teams. And Napoli comes away with their first three points. And now they have to go on to the next one. So, next week when we play, I'll make a review. I'll make a review this weekend for Serie A as well. We played Milan. It should be a big game as well. We need to win that game. So, let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel. It would be so great. You guys are so supportive. If I can get 400 anytime soon, that would be amazing. Um, but please subscribe to the channel. And hopefully you guys don't leave any negative feedback. If you didn't like this review, I'm sorry. But, again, thanks for all the support. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the game. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you all for watching.